It will be a busy day at the County Ethics Board again this week as some headline-making old business is back on the agenda, as is a new complaint submitted by a local journalist against the embattled county clerk. First, the board once again brings up the matter of County Council Chair Dominic Yagong's alleged unethical involvement with the county elections process. Last month, Yagong and Board of Ethics Chairman John Dill had a heated exchange over the complaint, which was forwarded to the Ethics Commission by the State Office of Elections. You, you're denying this, Mr. Dill, but I will put right. you... Are you denying this? This video was shot by R.J. Hampton and shared with Big Island Video News. Hampton also testified during the hearing. Are you looking to me speak to you? Okay. Stop. All right. Stop. Even County Clerk Jame Kawauchi joined in the fray. What is your operational relationship? Because that was not a matter that was brought before this commission. The clerk will herself face the ethics board on Wednesday, answering to a complaint brought forward by Tiffany Edwards Hunt of the Big Island Chronicle. Hunt alleges that Kawauchi, quote, has been very selective in dissemination of public information and showed preferential treatment to certain reporters and stonewalling others, end quote. This back and forth between Hunt and Kawauchi at a press conference before the primary election illustrates the tension between the two at the time. Media um, printouts are no longer available. There's no longer hard copies that are made available. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, but they told me that you could talk to Rex Cadilla at the State Office of Elections if there are any questions. So what would be the point of us coming here then? Uh, that would be for you to, to, to decide. Okay, let me get this straight. For, for um, pretty much this entire election season, you've been incommunicado with the State Office of Elections. Now suddenly you're being advised by the State Office of Elections not to give us printouts. When you and I had a meeting and I explained to you that in the age of new media, that's one of the most important things that we need on election night. What's the problem? I don't understand. You don't understand? No, I don't. You don't get it. The relationship between well, the clerk and some local members of the media came to a head on primary election day, the same day that confusion and late openings at the polls prompted the governor to declare an emergency extension of voting hours on the Big Island. That day, the clerk's news updates were sent to some media organizations, but not to others. That includes Big Island Video News. Hunt and videographer Dave Corrigan spent the early morning hours on the outside of the county building looking in, and Hunt stayed at the building for the better part of the day, unable to get Kawauchi to address concerns. Another agenda item returning to the Ethics Board, a petition alleging violations of the county code when county employees are allowed to attend union meetings on county time where political campaigning takes place. Kona resident Cheryl King brought the complaint forward after a West Hawaii Today article revealed the practice had been occurring this election season. The matter became a bit confused in September when Commission member Arnie Hendricks asked King who the respondent was. The county is at fault for releasing workers to attend a meeting at which campaigning took place, knowingly or unknowingly. You're saying the whole county is a respondent in your case. So. Mr. Hendricks' concern is that we, we don't have a respondent on this, and this is more so going to be a uh, hearing on policy. What I'm hoping is that you will investigate this yeah. issue, the whole, all of you, and decide who the respondent should be. Mm -hmm. Because if it takes filing another petition, I think we can certainly do that. The meeting is scheduled for 10 a.m. Wednesday at the County Council Chambers in Hilo.